Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play! We're back in Farming Simulator 22. Let's see, where are we at? Boy, we've been really expanding. Last episode we bought, I think, two fields or just the one? I think we bought one, and we've got our eyes on another. And we're currently picking up stones off of the new one that we built. Let's, uh, that we bought, I should say. Let's look at the map, because we're about to buy another. 47 we bought last episode. We're getting that one ready. And see it is cultivated and we're taking some rocks up. We're collecting stones. It's kind of working from the bottom to the top. So it's got quite a bit of work left to do. But we were looking at field 50 down here. This guy is ready to harvest. And it's got canola, I believe. Right? Yep. Canola ready to go. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Let's buy that. It's not that expensive. Farmland, 114000 It's not cheap, but we still have the cash. We need to spend it to make it. So let's, uh, let's buy 50. Let's grab our combine and switch the header because I think we left that, the corn header on there, thinking that was going to be the next thing that we were going to do. But it's going to be a while, actually, before we can get to that corn. Let's hop in the combine. I think we've got plenty of fuel in there. And it's empty. And let's go switch headers. Should be able to sneak by behind these guys. Just go straight on through. We'll pop this corn header. Guess I, you know, I could just do it in here. I'm never going to use these little slots, I don't think. I mean, I guess I could be putting tractors in here, I suppose. It's kind of like a work shed more than a garage. But maybe I can just plop a header down here just to utilize the space. Knock that guy off. Grab our regular grain header, I guess. I think this is the one for canola. Pretty sure. Ooh, am I not lined up? There we go. And hopefully I can get through. Let's see. That bridge looks a little narrow. This one looks a little wider. Let's go this way off to the right. I could probably get through there, but let's go this way. Since we've got our header on, let's take a look, make sure we don't plow into somebody. Or combine into somebody, I should say. A little bit of a narrow bridge here. Yeah, eventually we're going to have to have a little header. Um, header wagon. This one doesn't have its own built-in little wagon. All right, I see canola. There's no swath to worry about with canola, I don't believe. So we don't get straw. Pop this down. Pretty sure this is ready to go. All right. I'm going to use the helper. I know we could save money if we didn't. But there it goes. We're collecting the canola. It does spit out a lot of stuff there. There is no swath on this. So then the next thing we talked about doing was getting the JCB. Let's this guy's still doing the stone. It's gonna take forever. Getting the JCB and maybe planting canola on this little tiny field in front of us. That thing is ready to go. And if we look at the calendar. I think canola is the only thing we can really plant in uh, in August, right? It's a planting season here. I think that's green-ish. Looks green to me. So we could plant that. I don't know if it's the most profitable crop. I have no idea which is. But let's do that. And then we can um, plant wheat and barley on that large field. Or just wheat, one or the other, on the large field. But let's sow some seeds. 
and get that going. Can't remember which tools require which uh, which tractor, but the JCB can definitely do everything that we've got. I may go with the worker on this initially. Let's get it started. Um, I need to pick the right crop. So I'm going to mouse around so you can actually see that display in the lower right. And hit Y till we get canola. I think that's canola right there. Pretty sure. Let's do it. H for the helper. And again, this thing just drops seeds. It does not do fertilizing. Our little cedar here. This won't take much time at all. Okay, I'll tab off of that. Oh, remember the stubble? Let's look at the help and see what it says. Maybe we should be buying that thing that uh, mulches down the stubble. Let's take last episode. I think we looked in the help here on increasing yield, improving yield right here. Okay. It says using a mulcher on stubble gets us 5% extra. So what about that? I'm guessing what we've got here is stubble, right? Let's look at the dealer and see what the heck a mulcher is. I've never used one. Here they are. Mulchers can be used to crush the crop stubbles. This tool suits perfectly for grape and olive farming. Hmm. I don't think that's what we want. Yeah, this, hmm. Okay, this one must be specifically. Okay, this one is specifically for grapes and olives. These other ones are for normal, it looks like. Mulchers can be used to crush the crop stubbles. Here's one for 7,000, 130 horsepower. So this is going to take our JCB to run it. That being the case, we may as well go with something a little wider. These aren't too expensive. 150 horsepower here, 200 horsepower, six meters, seven miles per hour, 11 miles per hour. This one, 5.8 meters. This one looks kind of cool. 150 horsepower. Yeah, it's too bad we can't use our little guy. But we really can't. Let's get this Dalbo. Maxi cut 600. 22,000 is not cheap. It'll take a while for it to pay itself off, probably, but let's do it. Customize. Wheels, we could go a little different. Those look kind of cool. Yeah, this, this standard setup doesn't seem to change no matter what. Let's go with these guys. They look kind of beefy. I think that's it. 23,000. Let's buy it. We're burning through the cash. At some point, we're going to have to make some. But we haven't taken any loans yet, so I feel okay about doing this. Hey, everybody's working. I've got no extra tractors. Once the JCB is done here planting, we can go fetch the uh, stubble mower or whatever it is. And uh, maybe do that manually behind the... Harvester here. Now the harvester is almost half full. So we're going to need, we're going to need a tractor to bring over the uh, wagon to collect this canola. Might, yeah, I don't think we'll make it through the whole field. It's going to be close. We'll get pretty far, but maybe not the whole field. And then there should be a bunch of field work for us here once this is done. Let's see what the map shows us about what needs to be done in this field after it's harvested. Uh, okay, growth. Okay, that's just showing us it's cultivated. I have to toggle these colors to tell what's going on. Stubble tillage. Not sure what that is. Harvested. Okay, it's just saying it's harvested. Uh, do we need to weed it? We don't need to weed it. 
right? Because we're just harvesting the weeds. It, it needed weeding, but it was too late to weed it after the crop was grown, I think. Oh, and it needs plowing. Yes, and probably lime too. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to need lime. It's going to need plowing. So we got to do the full, uh, the deluxe treatment on this field once we're done harvesting it. Why plowing and stubble? Uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't have bought that stubble thing. I think the plowing is going to kind of serve that purpose for us. Let's just plow it. We'll try to make use of that combo plow thing that we've got. But that'll come next. And I think that's got to be the JCB. Let me... Yeah, that's got to be the JCB. Remember, it was tipping our little, our little plow. But I think that's what comes next on this field, plow. And then we can fertilize. We're still collecting stone over there. It's kind of an expensive operation when you think of how much time we're paying a helper to collect the stone over there. I don't know that it's necessarily worth it. Little dubious on that one. Let's see how this is going. This is almost done. In fact, we can probably take over. Let's do it. Let's just take over here and finish this last little strip. Got some new canola planted. And I think once that hits its first or second growth stage, we can uh, throw that second application of fertilizer on and then also watch for weeds. Okay, easy peasy. All right, done. Done and done. We've got plenty of seeds left. Is that right? 1,600 more left? Oh, it looks like it's still full, 100%. Did it not plant? <laughs> Let's look at the field. Did it not plant? Why? How is that possible? 44. Oh, because the helper gets... We have it set so the helper buys seeds. All right. Well, that's fine. That's fine for now. It saves us a trip to buy pallets. It kills a little bit of the immersion, but I'm okay with it for now. So that's why our cedar doesn't show any seeds used. If we have a helper on it, they automatically reply... Uh, resupply the seeds as they were all right that's it for the cedar we said we were going to try to do the plowing over where we're harvesting the canola and this may this guy may get interrupted and have to come get the uh cart so that we can collect the uh collect the canola out of the harvester that thing's going to fill up here before it's done we're going to have to unload it once. But we can maybe get this guy started over there and see if it works with a helper. Okay, yeah, F has a nearly full grain tank. Let's see if we can get this thing to work. Man, is this uh, a little frustrating. This piece of equipment, I've got it right here. Not my favorite. It worked so good the first time with the helper. Just not sure. Maybe I'm starting it the wrong way. If this doesn't work, we'll just go on the other end and start it and see. Let's try with the helper. Hey, I just hit H. It looks like it's going to do it. Let's see how they plan to attack this. I may actually stop the uh, rock processing and let this guy keep going. To go get the uh, wagon to collect the uh, canola. Well, let's see how this goes. And I'd have to look online to see if we could, uh, if we could have put fertilizer down here first and then plowed and somehow got our two applications of fertilizer in faster. There are little tricks. I'm not sure what those tricks are, especially in this version of the game. But I'll probably try have to try and remember to look that up. See what the tricks are.
If we'd clear these few trees out of the way, that would make things easier on our workers here. Okay. Not the best job, but... I guess he's getting there. Yeah, not super impressed <laughs> with the coverage. But we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. We're going to have to interrupt this guy. Let's do it now. I'm just going to hit H, turn this guy off. Leave it right in the middle of the field. Pick up where he left off in a little bit. Let's go get the cart. And empty the combine. Got some canola growing here. I'm going to try not to ride over it. This guy should be empty. All right, off we go. Let's go collect some canola. This tractor's a little underpowered, but it can do it. Ooh, ooh, it took that bump a little hard. See if we can get on the road without getting smacked here. Ooh, I'm stuck. Stuck on something. I don't know if it's just coming up the hill or what's going on. Hopefully he can uh, handle this cart. I thought we didn't have a problem. We'll see. If it's too much, we'll get the uh, JCB to do it. Yeah, it is a little much, isn't it? A little much for this little guy to tug. We'll see what happens when it's full. Maybe a bigger problem. We're probably going to have to empty this out. Pretty much immediately. Because I don't think this little guy can... Uh, may not be able to pull this once it's full. But we'll see here real soon. I'm not sure how much our harvester holds. We'll find out. Maybe 8,000 liters? Nope, more than that. Uh, 8,500 liters. Okay, we're able to pull this. Not sure how well we're going to be able to steer. I'm going to cut in front of my buddy. Wave. Beat the horn. Oops, yeah. Sharp turns don't really work when you're pulling this thing. And I cut through back here. It looks like I can. Just got to drive a little bit careful. Like I said, this is kind of a lightweight tractor. Let's dump this off in our grain bin. Eventually we'll look and see when the best time is to sell it. Could be now. But right now we're busy, so we got field work to do. Just want to dump this off. Not too bad. That will eventually be some profit for us. All right, we'll take this back with us, and then we're going to head over to where the rocks are. We'll cut through this way. There's our little rock harvester. As long as we get past that thing, this cart shouldn't be in the way. So I'm going to leave it right there. And we'll get back to collecting stones. We'll see how full this uh, stone collector is. We can sell these rocks. I can see them in there. We are able to sell these. I'm not sure exactly where or and if we have to take this whole thing with us. All right, we're 78% full. I'm going to go ahead and put the helper on. He may not be able to finish this without unloading the uh, our little machine here. And see all the stones in there. We're collecting up quite a few. 
And again, we'll get a little money for this. I don't think it increases our yield, but I think it's supposed to reduce the wear and tear on our machines as we work this field. Still have a lot to learn about this game. This is, you know, not impressive, right? This here, what we're looking at is not, is not impressive. I don't know if there's something I'm doing wrong, but I don't like the looks of this at all. We're going to sell this implement. Uh, maybe at the end of this row. Let's just sell this thing. This looks horrible, right? It just does not look so great. Maybe if we did it by hand, it would come out a little bit better. But yeah, this is not looking so great. Not to me. It's too bad. I like the idea. But yeah, let's see. I want to see him start the next row if this thing rotates or not. See, can rotate. Okay, yeah, he's turning on the field, which makes sense. Uh, see, he must rotate, right? No, I'm confused. Yeah, I'm really confused. Maybe it's the fact that it's not rotating that's the problem. I'm gonna turn off the helper here. And we're going to take this guy back right now and say so long. It's not great. At least we're not having much success with it. But we'll take this back to the shop, sell it and get, uh, we'll just get a normal plow since we've got a cultivator. I think this is the way to go. JCB hauls out. Our fast track moves pretty quick. 40 miles per hour is not bad at all. See a little bit more of the map here doing this too. Cutting through someone else's property probably, but. All right, check for traffic. Kind of quiet here. Very quiet for lunch hour in this town. Pretty quiet town. All right, let's sell this thing. Uh, we can grab our little dude, but we're, we're going to have to take back a plow, actually. Let's see. Where do we sell it? I think there's a spot. Is it here? Let's see. Let's escape out of here. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Hop out of here. Can I do this? Let's see. R. Crying. Okay, you. And we sell it. Let's. Okay. Sell. The value is $24,990. Let's repair it for $43. $25,000. $35,000. I'm not sure if that was worth it or much worth it. Let's sell this guy. It's too bad. It's cool, but... Or we could customize it. Can I take that thing off? It doesn't even show that I've got it. Packle mat. What if I do this? Total price zero. Customize. How about that? Customize. Sure. Does that take the, the little thing off? It does. Maybe this is fine. Let's try this. <laughs> Maybe this is fine. <laughs> we'll try it without it. We didn't cost us anything to get rid of it. And when I say it, I'm talking about the, um, the little cultivator kind of thing or compactor, they call it. Let's try it just as a plow. And see if we have any more luck. I'm usually terrible with directions. Let's see. Did we come in through here? We could try this. Did we come back this way? Not sure. Uh, 
Okay, well, let's try this road here. It's a little back road. Someone else's land. Hopefully they don't mind. But maybe using this just as a plow and then following with our normal cultivator. Maybe that's the way to go. Here's what we were working on. Man, should I just start over? I might. Let's just do it. Let's see what we get by just right on the edge here. Hop a worker on this. Is this the right direction? Yeah, it's got to be because our combine's working. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. Maybe this thing will rotate better. Uh, okay, the worker didn't like it. I'm going to drop this down. Let's start it. Worker doesn't like it. Worker does not like it. Why not? All right, I'm going to do some of this myself, just in the interest of time. Yeah, I don't know why the worker wouldn't do this. Maybe they think it's already plowed, this section, and doesn't need it. That could be. So I'll redo these three or four rows. There's our rock picker still doing their thing. His little implement may fill up. But we may have to make a trip with that and figure out where to drop that off and sell those rocks. I think there's a rock crusher or something where we can get a little bit of money for those stones. Not much. But we'll see if we keep the stones on. We can always configure that and turn it off. Not sure how I feel about it. Okay, let's lift this guy and see if this rotates now for us. It does. Right. Plowing is one of my least favorite things to do. Because I never know how I'm supposed to rotate this thing. All right, I'm going to hit three to have the cruise control take over a bit. Won't be perfect. But it'll be better than it was. Whoops. Okay, our combine is done. And then this field, I think we're going to probably do, like I said, the wheat or the barley. We'll see. That's what I'm thinking right now. We're still in August. So we've got some time, I think, to get this field ready. And bring this guy down. And when I get two more rows done, I'm going to try to get a helper on this and see if they'll do the rest for me. Could be that the helper thinks this has already been done. I'll try it again. Yeah, they don't like it. They don't like it. And then, to be honest, I'm not sure if I've got to run the cultivator over this once it's been plowed or not. We may not. I don't think we do, actually. It occurs I may be doing this backwards, right? Because I'm leaving a compressed tire track behind me. Might be doing it backwards. Let's leave it on that side. That would seem to make a little more sense. 
that why we're we're plowing over whatever was compressed over on the left hand side pretty day nice weather forecast looks like it's pretty good eventually we're gonna get snow we'll see what that's all about i guess you can plow the roads and put salt down that might be interesting. We'll have to see what we do for income during that time. I figure we could do contracts. There's probably some things we can do contract-wise, and it'd be nice to figure out where the forestry is. That seems like something we could be doing uh, when we can't can't work our fields. And okay, now I'm going to do the rotate. So we'll lift it, rotate it while I turn around. Whoa. And we'll try it here. We'll see if we can get a helper to trigger. If not, we'll do it the next row. I do want to cover up these tire tracks. Just, again, for, like, kind of for immersion's sake. All right, let's try a helper. All right, helper looks happy. Good. Let's get the combine out of here. We can make a run by the grain cart unload. How's that sound? Got plenty of fuel. Again, with a helper, I think they we've got it set so they refill the fuel, too. So, oh, and it looks like our stone picker's about done as well. Nice. We might be able to use our other tractor to um, put down the lime. Although we probably have to wait for the plowing to make a little more progress because the lime, man, that covers a ton. We could probably do that by hand, too. All right, I'm going to put out the pipe. We're going to drive on this other field. Dump this off. When the stone picking is done, maybe we can go deliver that stone. Try to sell it. And then we can also transport this uh, canola into our silo. And then maybe once we have those two things done, our plowing will be far enough along where we could maybe start putting down the lime. That looks kind of strange, doesn't it? I hope that's just graphical. The whole big section there on the left did not get plowed. Strange. All right. Let's put the combine away. Not the fastest vehicle in the fleet at 12 miles an hour. But it'll do. Now I think the next job for this guy is going to be the corn, but we'll see. I'll leave this header on until we're sure. We may end up buying another field, for all we know. AI worker F has completed their task. I think that's the stone picker. This header I think is too big to put in there, so I'm just going to put this one where we had it. In fact, I'm just going to park on the side of this building. Just like that. Here's our little guy. Let's see if we can figure out where to sell the stone. Let's zoom out of here a little bit. There's our map, our whole map. Let's look at prices. Oh, this is nice. This uh, GUI change is, I like this better than uh, FS19 and FS17, I should say. Looking for stones. There they are at the very bottom. The debris crusher. Let's see. Where is that? Tag place. I'll just hit enter and then well, let's look at the map. Okay, way over here. So we need to take our normal road potentially or we could... Yeah, it looks like that's the only way. Hop on our normal road, cut across, and then eventually make a right. There should be a stone crusher. Let's get to it. That's actually a bit of a trek. We need to fold this up. So it's a little less uh, spanning two lanes. Let's just see if we can sell them. Whoops. I don't want to knock out that sign if I can help it. Let's try to be a little more careful. All right. Put on our beacon for fun. And turn off the help menu. We'll leave the mini map up. 
and we'll head over there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where are we at? 142,000. Not too bad. There's our little beacon there showing us where we need to go. Sell the stone. Fuel looks good. Repair. Eventually, we're going to need to repair this vehicle. Our tractor. Again, I kind of like the one, this tractor. I like the look of it. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the color scheme or something. Kind of fun. Gets the job done, too, for the most part. And our JCB is busy doing the plowing. So that would be a little bit faster travel for us, but uh, that one's tied up. We can only have so many tractors here early on. So we'll try to stretch the cash out as best we can. We do have that stubble mower here. That was a mistake purchase, but we'll make use of it eventually. Okay, is this our road? It looks like it. We're going to hang it right here. I'm going to catch a glimpse of what else is out here. Sign up. I even can't quite read that. What is that? Professional hand-painted signs. Sign up. Cool. Some housing here looks nice. Mailboxes. Oops, I'm going to take out these mailboxes. Oh, man, just barely. Like I said, I don't think we're going to get much for this stone, but we can at least get rid of it. Let's hop up here. And I think I just come up next to this guy and dump away. There we go. Stones. Keep an eye on the money in the top right. $138. Not too bad for a big bunch of rocks. And it frees up this implement so we can run it again. Now I wonder if we need... Oh, I'm kind of going the wrong way. I'm wondering if we need to run this on the field that we're plowing now. Is that guy kicking up rocks? Let's see... Is there a big creek in front of me or something? Uh, there's a little lake. Cutting through someone else's land here. Boy, lots of room here. Maybe even for animal pens. We can just take these back roads. Might even be able to cut through that creek, right? There's the firehouse in the distance. That's our neighbors, and I think this is the field that we're thinking of buying. That's not mature yet. It's not ready to harvest, so we kind of held off. Now this is the field I'm wondering, does this guy have stones? I don't see any. Uh, yeah, I do. Let's, uh, there they are. Let's get this guy doing this for now. This takes forever. This job is a long, long, long job. Let's do it. Like I said, I don't know that it's worth the money, to tell you the truth, for the helpers. Actually do this, but we'll see. Man, yeah. This is a lot bigger field. This guy is going to be busy pretty much forever. Let's hop out. See what it tells us. Okay, it needs lime. That's what's going to be next. Well, I guess we'll use the JCB for that. This guy is going to take forever to get the stones up. I mean, this is going to take a long, long time. I can't really push this with my hands. I wish I could. Uh, this one's 50% fertilized. Let's take a look at the map. Right now, we're short on tractors. That's what's going to hold us back. Let's take a look. 
whoops, hit the wrong key. I don't think it mattered. I just hit the Q key. I don't attach anything. All right, let's take a look. See what we got. We've got some canola we could think about selling. Let's see. When is a good time to do that? No price fluctuations here at the bottom. Canola, we're in August. Looks like the best time to sell is in December. So we've got... 8,500 liters plus whatever's in our grain cart or what, whatever's in our wagon. We haven't, uh, or trailer, we haven't emptied that out yet. So it's not showing up here. Then we've got 1,800 wheat. That's January is a little bit better time to sell that. So we got December than January. We have to try and keep that in mind. And then sorghum. That is the field that... The other field that we just drove by that we're thinking of buying. Let's take a look at that on the map. That, I think, is 52. Look at that. What a mess. Oh, man. Um, What is that trying to tell me? There's a little canola planted there still? Yeah, maybe. It plowed. I don't know if I have to cultivate this or not. May depend on the cedar that we're using. The cedar we have is real basic. Anyway, let's take a quick look at 52. Yeah, 52 is still growing, and that is the sorghum, I believe. Right? Yeah. Boom. Yeah, that's sorghum. That's in its last growth stage. Could buy that up, and does it need fertilizing or anything? Oh, it needs to be weeded. It might be too late to weed that, unless we had a herbicide, which we don't. Um, let's look at whether or not we're going to need to cultivate field 50 when we're done. We're doing the plowing. It's going to need lime. Do we need to cultivate it? Not sure I understand the seed bed and the, the seed bed indicator, what that's telling us. I thought when we cultivated it, it showed us that. There's a little strip that's left over. Oh. Is there a little rock guy cultivating? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's look at the help. We get some time to a little bit of time to kill. Special crops, farming basics. Hey, maybe we'll read through this a little bit. Start off as a farmer, you need to purchase land. Only work on farmlands you own. You cannot cut down trees or basically do anything on other people's land. Go to the map to buy parcels. We've already done all that. There's 16 types of crops. We saw that. Three mandatory steps to process field crops. Cultivating, sowing, and harvesting. So it looks like we do need to cultivate. It says use a plow, cultivator, disc harrow, power harrow, subsoiler, or spader to aerate the ground before you start growing your crops. Keep in mind that when using a disc harrow, you have less time to remove weeds as they are sprouting much faster. The implement needs to be lowered to work the soil. Okay. Now, when they say cultivating, are they saying that all of this is considered cultivating in this next paragraph? The plowing, cultivator, disc harrow? I'm not sure. So crops using a cedar, build a machine with seeds from pallet. Fine. Some cedars can cultivate, sow and fertilize in one the field in one go. Okay. We don't have those yet, but we will later on probably. Applying this process saves you one step, cultivating. You can use direct seeding machines to save time, but always keep in mind this creates weeds faster than cultivating the ground beforehand. So it sounds like they want us to cultivate. I just, just not sure. We could try to skip cultivating and just see what happens. Try and seed this field without cultivating it. And just see. Okay, then it gets into harvesting. 
use a harvester to collect the crop. That's all pretty straightforward. We've already done all that. And then this talks about straw. We've already done that too. Nothing too much to worry about there. This talks about fertilizer. Herbicide and lime. Okay, pretty straightforward in those. Three methods to remove weeds, spraying herbicide, using a weeder, or using a hoe. Weeders only remove the smallest weeds, so you need to be quick. With a hoe, you're able to remove small and larger weeds, while with a sprayer, even the largest weeds can be removed, but there still may be some left standing. We may have read this before. Mulcher increases the yield by 5%. I'm guessing that is after harvest, but before cultivating. Use this mulcher. That's my guess. Feels like it would do the same thing that the cultivator's doing, but again, I'm not a farmer. Smaller stones can be removed with the roller, while bigger stones need to be collected. Okay, that's what we're doing now. Yeah, I don't see anything too... Too crazy here. Grapes and olives, crop calendar, snow, general animals, forestry. Okay, yeah, nothing too interesting there. We got sunflowers next door. This field is waiting now to be planted. So let's look at the map again. What do we want to plant here? We planted canola up there. We got two giant fields to consider. What do we want to do here? This guy shows us cultivated. It looks like this little rock guy is cultivating this field. I can't, sure looks like it, right? It's becoming more and more cultivated. So maybe that's going to do the job for us. But we do need to plant here. This can be, I don't know. I guess we could do a bunch of wheat. Maybe one of these barley and one of these wheat. These two bigger fields. And then up here, maybe, I don't know. We'll have to see. Right now it's corn and beets. We could probably do something similar. And again, this is our sorghum. Not yet ready. Not really anything we can do on this one. We can hold off on buying that. We got a big field across the street. Now that's going to be probably pretty expensive. 30. That guy is 226,000 for field 30. We could take out a loan. I mean, kind of the name of the game. We want to make money. That's not ready to harvest. Ready to harvest. Let's see. 42. 42 is ready to harvest. That's a nice size field. So is, so are these. 55. Let's see how much that would cost us. That's 118,000. That's not bad. Not bad. We've got a harvester just sitting, waiting for something to do. What do we got on there? That is Oh, that's wheat. Boy, that would keep us busy. We almost need another tractor at this point, right? Because wheat is gonna involve another um we gotta pick up the straw, and we still don't have a place to store our straw. We could sell it. Let's see what that's all about. Right? We've got our forge wagon. Full of straw. Okay, here's straw. Ooh, this has a calendar of times to sell too. Boy, everybody wants everything in January. That must be the time to just make all the trips. To sell things. Hmm, we're not desperate for cash yet. 
But we may want to think about having a place to store our straw. Let's, uh, let's head over this way. Our tractors, like I said, they're both still pretty busy. Boy, from a distance, it still looks like they missed that big section here with the plow. The helper did. Not sure what that's about. That's a bug, or if that's intentional, or if it has to do with the power pole. We may have to come back and take care of that ourselves. How much more? He's got a few more rows to do. Two or three more rows. I said this one's ready to plant. We just need a tractor. We could... We could take our little guy off and start planting. Nah, I can't. We gotta wait. This is gonna be... Unless we do canola. I don't think we should do canola here. Let's come over this way. And see, is there a place where we could put a hayloft? That wouldn't look so bad. You know, someplace logical. We don't have a lot of open land here. Not much at all. Don't want to block this little passageway. We need a place to store hay. Let's see. Just do this real quick. We may not purchase it right now. Uh, where is this? This is down here. Construction. Under silos, I believe. Here it is. Hayloft holds 250,000 liters. Of course, hay and straw. But this guy, we saw this. It's not a little, not small. We can't really cramp our fields up with this either. I'm not seeing a good place on the land we own now to do it. Unless we, you know, decrease the size of one of our fields. I don't really want to do that. Could take out a tree and just combine these two things. <laughs> but that looks kind of crowded. Looks kind of silly, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Is there more land we could buy for placeables? I'm zoomed out as far as I can, by the way. As far as I can go. I don't see a lot of good places for this. We could just immediately sell it, but then again, we're not going to get the best price. Could do something like in the middle here, but that's, man, that seems kind of crazy, doesn't it? This would work. Just pass through and store our stuff, but that's super crazy about that. We could do it. Maybe we should. 64,000. Oh, kills are a nice place to put things. Well, we'll think about that for next episode. Let's wrap this one here. Can we see our little guy working? Okay, there's our stone collector. He's slowed down in this area. I don't know if he's able to actually work that little strip or not. And there's the JCB doing the plowing. We got one more row to go, it looks like. Maybe, maybe two. Hopefully just one more, and then he'll be done. Then we could plant this field. We'll decide next episode what we want to plant here. We could do canola. Otherwise, we wait till September. Um, this is canola now. Waiting on these to grow. So not too bad. Yeah, I got to think about where to put that hay barn. Where it makes sense. Anyway, for now, this is Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Uh, special thanks to those of you who've been giving these videos a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. I believe that helps my tiny channel grow. That's what I'm told. Thanks for that, and I will see you all in the next episode.